Sweet. All right, welcome to episode zero or one. I guess it's zero if you're a programmer. Um, of Let's Play, I'm here with my friend Matt. We're gonna be playing some Gradius. Um, Hello, everyone. Classic. Yeah, Matt, what's up? Uh, here to play some classic video games with uh, your boy Joe with my boy oh wow so this um I want to comment this title screen yeah it goes into the demo really fast see that's all if <laughs> so if you have some serious <laughs> indecision about how many players you want or if you're trying to read all the text on the screen um, you might yeah, run out of time. I mean, maybe you're concerned about, hey, I need to know exactly what year there was a copyright on Gradius, and you might have to, you might have to wake it back out of the demo a couple times to get through all the letters, not just the words, but yeah. really internalize every letter. Or if you're trying to get through the intro uh, and the guest intro of your web series. Before the demo starts. You Before might, the demo starts. You, you might have trouble. You might. You might. Um, but, nonetheless, here we are. I mean, yeah, here we are. Where, and, and where is here? Do you know anything about the story of this game? Um, that's a great question. No. Looks like space. This is, so, this is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, this is an old game, but, uh, no kidding. Yeah. Um, but this isn't one that, this isn't a particularly nostalgic one for me. Uh, no, this is my first time playing this. Simply is a cool game, but it is a cool game, and that's why we're playing it. But no. you grew up with an NES, right? We had NES. My um, oh, well, my cousin. My oh, you're dead. I am dead. Now it's All right, this your is turn to die. All right, I get these. Gotta get these little um, croissant. They look like three croissants oh, they, together. They look like that donut that's like, like, what is it? What's like? It's like a, it's like a little riffly roll. Oh, the French, the French yep. thing. It it it's sweet. It's light mm -hmm. and and you know. They, it's got like a honey glaze. It persists. It persists. Even it, even in the face of it, <laughs> things with thousands of times the sweetness. <laughs> Uh, it persists. It, <laughs> it, persists. it is on the shelves. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I I remember um, my cousin would uh, would show me and my brother like different secrets. Like she knew um, all the different secrets in Mario Three. And, uh, like, how to get the warp whistles, and, uh, oh, I guess this is a one-hit death. One-hit kill. Yeah. Um, so I'm dead. But this is now back to Joe. We're, um, yeah, we were just kids, and just the idea that you could, you could, <laughs> you could zip around through the game. I don't know, that, that, that you know, it's not this game, but I, I, I have no memory of my, my very first, like, kind of shoot 'em up side scroller shoot 'em up type game um oh i guess you can just crash on the ground that's how ships work <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's true though it's not a boundary like a lot of okay. a lot of these yeah also isn't it strange that we're in um we're in a tunnel or is there just a ground you know See, what I mean? I, we're, in a, we're in a planet tunnel. I'm kind of imagining this, <laughs> like, you know, this That's came right. out in the 80s. <laughs> this came out in the 80s, so this is like, maybe... Well, it came out in 1987, because I took the time to read the copyright oh, screen. Oh, yeah, that's Remember right. I had to wake it back up from the... Yeah, and we, we got to see someone with many more power-ups than we have. Uh, all the... Yeah. Um, which is kind of a misrepresentation of what the game is, because now I, I have this pathetic... Pathetic bullets. It's not a misrepresentation. It's a. It's a, It is a representation of what the game. Could it's a. Be. It's a teaser. It's a teaser. It's a, it's a real teaser, and I'm not even sure how I dodged right there. 
Um, but I think so. This is only four years after Return of the Jedi, and I forget uh, if it was in Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi where they, they oh that's what might have go been, yeah. through the meteor and there's like a creature living in there. Yeah. Oh, it's game over. It's one player. Game over. All right. Well, this has been uh, it's oh. one player. Game over. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's just me then. See that? It's all about the. But you're about to, you know, and then we'll start again. Well, so you're getting. Yeah, this could have been game. a tunnel. This could have. To. I, I'm thinking that. Okay. Well, I'm thinking that this is kind of like because we see the background, which is space. We see the the ceiling and the floor are rock, and there's like some That's kind true. of vegetation in there. Oh, it's 1986. It's not 1987. So even closer. Even closer. Three years after yep. Return. <laughs> And I know that uh, various huge mega corporations uh, own these these words, um, these movie titles. But I think that you know, in the basis of commentary and such and such, you can you can at least say them. You can make references to. I have to cut all this out. Now. Major <laughs> motion pictures. I have to you, cut everything. You never know. I mean. Actually, yeah, it has to go. Okay. Sorry. All right. Well, I don't want to. I don't want you to lose your livelihood over Hang there. on, finish finish the finish your speculation of how the tunnel I just think that I I think that it's is where they hid from the sandworm. Exactly. Not like the, sandworm. The, uh, the, the the idea this is an expansion on an idea that was visited in Star Wars, which is that a meteor, something that is not an entire planet, it is a smaller astral body, uh, could in fact have inhabitants. Um, and in this case, it's, you know, dozens and dozens of tiny ships, um, and bouncing. Not a giant. I mean, those guys are, <laughs> those guys are just having a grand old time. <laughs> this is like any situation in which you are one thing versus hundreds of things, which is, it comes down to pretty much... I would say the majority of video games ever made is that you are I mean you only take one hit to kill but you are a seemingly unstoppable force like they're throwing well, dozens yes. the and premise, dozens of ships the whole you. premise of the the feeling like this enemy feels as though they have to unleash every possible <laughs> offense that they have <laughs> In order to stop your, like, tiny little ship. Like, if there was a jet. <laughs> oh, you almost got it there. See that? Though. That guy, I think he got me the other time, yeah, too. Yeah, I think so, too. He approached he from the rear. Um, but, um, oh, am I about to face a boss? Oh, that doesn't seem fair. Oh, this doesn't seem fair at all. I'm just going to stay right above it. Yeah, I don't know what happens. I think if I shoot some certain number of these it'll be a bonus oh all right, well, i survived survive oh look we're coming okay see that so you have proceeded now through we, now we're uh, outside of what i thought was an asteroid of some kind oh don't tell me that i didn't go through those little guys those lasers well i'll just go <laughs> i'll just go back to the beginning i was perfect if that's positioned cool i'll just be at the start is this, is this one of those Go back to the beginning type games because I feel well, like I, I had gotten to level when I, two when I died oh. originally. It's it's the it's the one player versus the two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So oh. maybe maybe if okay. So all right, I understand. If I would die or if you die now, I I'll be in level two, assuming I have any lives left. Assuming. Yeah. Well, you should. You've I only should. lost one. Yeah. Now I had a goofy little. You had like a uh, power up of some kind. So you started somewhere. <laughs> I started at some kind of a halfway started, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a checkpoint. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. I. I uh, I'm literally just. So your cousin. Mashing. Yes. Your. Well, your, specifically my cousin Laura, because I I don't remember. Um. But did you my have other any as growing as, up, or did you? We did, and so what was oh, funny gosh. is actually my my. My dad would play his favorite game, and seemingly the only game he played or was interested in for NES was Tetris 2. Not Tetris 
not regular Tetris. Oh. He liked oh. the lining up with the with the little bombs and setting up combos that way. That was that his very thing. Specific. He was really, really good at it. And I would sometimes go, and it was, I guess, after he was done with work or you know, while dinner was cooking or something. I, I, I don't remember when he would have ever had time to do this, but it was at some point in the evening, and I would go into it was my parents' bedroom. He was playing Tetris 2, and I would just watch because he was like the master of it. Um, so that was, oh. you know, in, in effect, that was kind of like a let's play, you know. And here we are doing it for strangers, but the origin of this is that we would watch our, you know, friends and family True. play it's games true. in person and just sort of, yeah. We're getting into the origins of things now. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the end of this, we'll explain all of um, media. <laughs> that is too ambitious. For I, uh, I did not, I did not have an NES growing up. Uh, we had an Atari early on, um, but where I played Mario was at my cousin's house, so we would go visit my cousins who lived in Maine, and they were a little bit older, and my brother and I would just sit in the basement in this <laughs> in this house in Maine. Thought I was safe. And, and play, they had a, a small selection of games, right? So we had Qbert, we had Super Mario Brothers 3, everyone, if you had, if you had an NES, you had Super Mario Brothers. It was, and so still like, is one of the best games ever created. Um, Platoon, <laughs> which, when you're eight years it's old, like, is impossible to play. I would imagine, well, it's and, based on, like, what was so hilarious was that they made video games out of R-rated movies. You know, true. that, you know, at the time, video games were not necessarily, I mean, I, I can't say that I was personally that I knew every person who ever played a video game, but I would say it was mostly kids. That's my, that's my assumption. Yeah. Uh, you know, and Platoon has... Mostly, but not all, right? I mean... Graphic violence. So I think about it, and I think about how old my cousins were, and they had an NES. Um, they, they would have been late teens, early 20s, which I guess... Yeah. They're, they're a little over 10 years old. Yeah, so, you know, I guess they could have seen Platoon. You know, if, you, if you're looking at teenagers, yeah, I guess that teenagers definitely play games. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I just, maybe it was just from my own perspective of being, like, eight. <laughs> and, <laughs> and knowing that there was a RoboCop video <laughs> game. Yeah, that's true. And, and hearing things about RoboCop that would genuinely make my stomach turn because <laughs> like, i you know i hadn't really i think that's one of those movies i forget how violent it is it's you know what I mean? it, it, it's got some moments it's even got um there's like a director's cut where they they like expand upon um certain scenes they like added a few extra seconds to some of the grizzlier like the boardroom scene where the ed 209 like just doesn't work properly <laughs> let's just say that <laughs> let's just say it doesn't work the way it was intended <laughs> to work um and there's a director's cut where there's like three or four more seconds of the uh unintended results of ed 209 and uh oh boy <laughs> and, oh, and oh for, boy. for an eight-year-old playing the robocop video game you're you're certainly not either not sure, aware game, of right. either not aware of exactly. or shouldn't have seen that with your eyeballs. No. Um, but yeah. I, uh, uh, this, I mean, this is like, it's pretty engrossing. It's like, I, it, I've always wondered what it would be like to make commentary while having to also focus on the technicality of let's, uh, let's, playing a game. Let's presume that the only reason we're so bad at this is because we're also conversing. I, I think, I think that has to be what it is. Uh, it absolutely is. I mean, I I do not, as you might have been able to tell, you, I do not speedrun Gradius. This is not my... You made it to the first boss. Yeah. So you're doing considerably I, better I, I, than I am. <laughs> I, and actually, 
I don't even know if this would be a game that is speed runnable because it is essentially a giant auto scroller. True. True. You know, and, and unless you have like a specific strategy for each boss, which, which is, I think the boss would be the only opportunity for uh, quicker advancement if, if you were to try to go fast in this game. Otherwise, it's just, you know, bullet heck, so to speak. Uh, um, wait, what was, the, what was the first R-rated movie you ever saw? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I honestly don't know. There's a good chance it was Lethal Weapon. Okay. There's, That'll give some. There's also a good chance it was Point Break. Which, by the way, is another movie that completely forgot how I mean it's it's not Robocop level of gore but it is violent I, I actually you know what I maybe have seen that one time and it was when I was in my early teens I can barely remember Ooh, snuck up on you I just remember I remember the scene where it's either is it Swayze or, or Reeves who who's there's one of them is running away from the other and you know they they get a clean shot, and he's almost going to shoot him, but because they're friends, he decides to shoot the gun in the air instead. Uh, classic yeah. cinematic moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, so <laughs> it's so It really is... Drama is so... Drama's interesting, but, you know, and, and not to call Point Break drama is... Uh, I don't know about that. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a movie. It's a dramatic film. Um... But the idea that I could barely remember this movie, I, I keep falling into the trap of trying to hide by the ceiling, and they get you. That's those little they, walkers. That's how, they, that's how they keep you from doing it. They really, um, it's really just because I'm not learning, and I refuse to learn. Are you ready to <laughs> this is mirrored in my real again? life, by the way. You, you guys don't know me yet, but um, you will. You will. Uh, <laughs> you will. I mean, if, if, if I'm if I'm invited back to the um, what is the name of this show, by the way? Let's play. With Joe, let's play with Joe. Let's play with Joe. If I'm, if I'm in, in fact a returning guest uh, and and, and not uh, excommunicated, why? Uh, well, uh, I mean, I guess there's still time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's. I, I I don't know what a what a um, ejection offense would be. Um, we've decided, you know, our uh, 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 our Joe has has decided to make oh, this a family friendly. I think I. Think I um... I think I understand. <laughs> I didn't realize this before. What? But when you get a you get a power up thing, oh. and it lights up yellow at the bottom. Uh huh. You then have to activate it while it's yellow, and you and they stack. Uh. So you oh. pay attention to when they light up. Oh, power. so you so can sort B, of like hit B now, and you'll get the speed up, and then. Oh, oh interesting. Maybe not. Maybe not. Mm. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now you have the missile. And maybe I didn't hit B hard enough or something. So that's a speed up. Huh. I don't know if maybe the speed up also stacks? I'm not sure. Um, but now if you don't get that, and you get, okay, now you have to get another one. And then when the double highlights, hit B again. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna... Uh, because, I, because I'm focused on... On uh, mostly on commentary and sort of play the game. Yeah, hit, I, hit I, me though. I, I get really double? oh double oh sweet. Oh, okay, now I can and shoot you up keep your missile. See at these little. So that's how you ha that's guys. how you stack your power ups. I really yeah, like those guys. And those ceiling guys. You yeah, know, the ceiling many, guys are done for. As many times as also, I just realized your missile me. goes down, and then when it hits the ground, it tracks along the ground. Oh yeah, it hits something. Yeah. Yeah, and even, I think it, it does like a funny thing down the mountain. It does, it's like, it doo -doo 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 -doo. does. We're learning new stuff. That's, I am. Maybe you knew all of this while we I... Uh, Is it Gradius? I, I know. It Gradius. Oh. Well, it could be, I think it's Gradius. It's Gradius. Because of the, I think because of like, Radius? Like the <laughs> the <laughs> geometry term. Is that? <laughs> um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Oh. Okay. I'm going madman mode right yeah, now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought that, that if I gyrated seems, around wildly, that seems uh, 
said dubiously fair. And by dubiously fair, I mean un? Yeah. No, I think that, like, if there was... So if there was such thing as metadata back then, it would be, and you know, the, the whatever company, Konami, whatever company this is, they looked at when was the exact point at which people decided to return this to the video game store. It would be probably right around, <laughs> right around the, <laughs> the volcano party, whatever, <laughs> whatever the volcano that party. is. No, I like. I, I think volcano party is an appropriate I, term. I mean, Earthers! yeah, yeah. Also, so one of my one of my favorite one of my favorite enemies in this, uh, I'm coming to learn is is the ceiling guy because he's got little there's little feet. Yeah, they oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They're they're, they're kind of well actually I say little feet but they're actually they're kind of big. See, so now if you had that's, what, that's what makes them cute. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, you, see, this is to say about it. this is uh, I am I am incorrigible. I really just want to hide on the ceiling and it is not safe there. For some reason, I feel like it's safe. It's not. It's not. It's not. Don't fret, uh, viewing audience. Yeah. By the end of this video, I will be, I will have exactly the same <laughs> skills as I do right now. Ooh, you go pick, you, if you went one pixel yeah. lower. Uh, I would say, first, first R-rated movie I ever saw was Stripes. Ooh. Which is really R just for swearing, and I believe there's several <laughs> moments of, uh, of nudity. But it's not like a violent film. Oh! You almost made it. You almost made it to the, um, to the end of that little, little fiesta there. Um, well, and, and here I am, here I am on the ceiling again. So yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I have to say that the idea of recording this for posterity, just for posterity, right? Like, not excluding the YouTube viewing audience who may or may not be entertained by this, you know, whoever, the, the four people who watch. Um, I, or, I'm sorry, well, you got, I meant yeah, 4 million, wow, Joe, got, I meant 4 million. a lot of faith in this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I did not mean that to be an actual dig, that was a, that's sort of a trope, you know, if you ever listen to the first episode of a podcast, or, it's pretty much, it's like a rite of passage to mention some arbitrarily low number uh, even people who are, who are already famous who start a first episode of a podcast they'll be like yeah for the 12 people like Conan O'Brien's podcast was like he made the same joke so I'm just doing that you're just oh, okay I'm yeah, just doing that like, uh, we'll just if I can do what the greats I, have done I genuinely believe that this this can succeed because uh, we're still in the wild west of the internet as far as I'm concerned well it's only been eight years or so since Game Drums came out, and um, you know, or should I say, GG? We can block that out. We do, we don't have to promote other other shows. <laughs> I don't. I can't be promoting anybody. <laughs> I, I need to be promoted. That's true. Um, but I mean, that's just eight short years, you know. Like, was... I think we can still throw our throw our hat in the ring. I'm saying we. This is your show. You know, I think I'm probably getting... Um, I'm bordering on not being invited back. This is a show. It's a show for everybody. Oh, my God. Um, I have a laser. Deal with it. That actually seems... Uh, like, oh, I was about to say, it looks like it was being pretty effective. <clears throat> um, uh, I tricked you. Um, so, so, uh, I don't know, should we tell a little about ourselves, or are we, are we, are we, what, what's our episode length? What are we going for? Are we just going to record us talking about the format of the show? Is that too behind the curtain? Oh my gosh, well, you, you, you've lifted the skirts. 
<laughs> it's not going to be completely naturalistic. It's like if you go out on a hike and you find a particularly funny looking rock on the ground, you want that to be the same way that people find this YouTube show. Like, oh, this just, just exists in nature, you know? Like, there's nothing <laughs> happening behind the scenes. There is no. <laughs> this is this is the scene. Yeah, right. It's too... Yeah. Wait. Uh, well, I, I you know what? This, We're this... accepting the fact that it's raw now. Yeah. It's raw. <laughs> it's real raw. We're raw. It's, we... um... <laughs> raw, raw is the only way for... <laughs> it's real steel. Us. I Starring... Have to, you have to pay attention to the... What's his name? The... Um... Jackman? Hugh Jackman. Yeah. <laughs> Jackman. That's right. That's right. Uh, one of our greats. Although um, I guess he's technically... Well, I mean, if we're talking about show format, are we trying to be the only one that references real steel? <laughs> <laughs> we could be the first... Good, good job, us. <laughs> yeah. We could be the first to talk, to talk about that movie other than the people who made it. Oh, did you see? They, look, they keep coming more and more. I, I think I'm almost tricking you now into thinking... That, that the, the ceiling, ceiling is, is safe. safe. <laughs> that the ceiling is absolutely not safe. <laughs> the ceiling, the ceiling I is I think not that safe. probably it's like the ground is is a death trap. Like there's you can't go on the ground at all. Um, and sort of right in the middle, you know, that's where they expect you to be. So you don't want to be there. So I think you have to be like here, right here. <laughs> and then it was just Mr. Power. Uh, well, don't get uh, the power. The ceiling isn't safe. I think it's better to live. <laughs> uh, you know, we can get philosophical. I'm gonna go on the ceiling for a second. Hold on. Okay. Well, you have to. I, mean, you I really have you, to. It's either the ceiling or the. Oh, <sighs> it's either the ceiling or the ground. I think that level one might be where we live. I think we live here now. I think we. I think we live here now. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Should we should we say something about ourselves, like what we what we do for work, or you know, should we remain anonymous um, commentators who establish our brand only through gameplay and commentary on the, on the game itself? Or I'm you, pulling the curtain say, all the way back. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> say whatever okay. you want about yourself. Okay. All right. Um, well. <laughs> I hope it's not too early to say that. I hope this becomes ah! full-time employment uh, for me. It's too early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can pay you in cheeseburgers. I I would, uh, you know, I would just I would accept IOUs for the first twelve months or so. Um, but you know, after that, I I want my cut. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can have your cut now. It's, um, it's zero. <laughs> to, yeah, no, I, I, I really appreciate it. Um, but I'm all about that cash. I'm all about that cash. Oh, oh no. Oh, they, those volcanoes. There is no cash. There's just... There is just death. I think... Oh. That is quite the fanfare. What, the little tune it plays? Yeah, I like that. Um, alright. Joe is indisposed at the moment, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to live as far, as long as I can on this life. Indisposed or disposed? You know, I've never quite understood why they, why that is that way. Why the word you, is the word? Because I think indisposed does mean that you're busy, essentially. Um, but disposed... <laughs> <laughs> Disposed means that you've been <laughs> discarded in some way. This is a very unfair segment. Oh, on Earth. Alright. I think... Okay, I made it. This is some white knuckle gaming here. Um... I'm just gonna kind of stay back from him so I can avoid his shots. It's better to live than to die. It, oh, oh, I disagree. <laughs> I heartily disagree <laughs> with that hitbox. Oh, that's what you disagree. With. Yeah, <laughs> my ship was solidly not touching that. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> let's give this let's give this one more playthrough until game over, and then we'll.
Okay, well, we can, we can we'll, call it. We'll wrap an episode. Yeah. Wrap an ep, as they, as they, as they may say. They, yeah, they, do, they, they say... do call them eps, I think. I think. Ooh. Yeah, see? You gotta pay, I think the power-ups are, are where it's at. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. much better. I, I don't, honestly... If you don't get the power-ups, I think... My eyes are just glued to the, um, the various crustacean-shaped objects coming toward me. I almost, ne- I almost never noticed the, the powers. This is Joe playing right now, by the way. Uh, I'm, waiting. Wait, I'm patiently wait. waiting my turn. Ooh. That was, Ooh. that really grazed you. Ooh. All right, here we go. What's your favorite star, blue or yellow? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't really, really give it much thought. I think, yeah. I think blue, but yellow is a close second. I, you know, yellow, re- yellow really second. pops against that background, but blue is just so kind of, it's like, it's like, um, classically star. Yeah, it is blue very, is star. blue. <laughs> How did you, you survived that? See, I agree with that hitbox. I agree, yes. And that, I like that. that. Yes, hitboxes. I like that I live. It's it's better to live. Hot take. I like when I live. <laughs> I don't like when I die. <laughs> um, hit B, hit B. Oh, thank you. Yeah. God, what would I do with that? Yeah. You get, I'm, <laughs> hey, someone's got a co-pilot, right? I, I mean, yeah. someone's got to co-pilot. Yeah. Uh, other than Jesus? Um, yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Me. I'm Just the guy. Best. Um, we were also curious about how, how the mashing sound is going to come through. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Give me this. This music actually really reminds me of, um... Woo! Dun, 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 dun. It reminds me of one of the earlier uh, Mega Man themes. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like I feel like maybe Mega Man three or four has a very similar theme. Not like not, not like the main theme, but one of the one of the uh, Robot Masters levels. I was a huge Mega Man fan back in the day. That's that's a series we we should touch on. Did you have that on like the early Nintendo ones? Oh yeah, so the first, I think, I want to say like, Mega Man is not something I was exposed to until the, like, Super Nintendo days. Well, I mean, and though, they, Mega Man is one of those series that it really continued to be excellent for, like, oh, is this the, 10, 12, eight. 13 games in a row? I think you, you can do it. I think if you stay pretty much right there and just mash... Oh, except for that. Yeah, that's where. Except for that. That's where I try to be an expert and totally fail. Um, I will give you no more advice. Uh, but no, I, we played Mega Man Six. Um, that was the first one I think we owned, and I think it was in close succession. We played. We had three and six, and then okay. because we were such big fans, or at least I was. I don't know if my brother liked them as much. I have one brother, by the way. Um, he's a cool dude. He's probably going to be on this show. I hope so. So very soon. He has to be. Um, it's it's, I, it's a requirement. It is. It's a requirement. <laughs> it, it's 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 going to happen. Um, so yeah, you guys will be fan. But yeah, I was super into the Mega Man games, and that's just it's it's one of those series that I actually. It's fascinating because it didn't really make the jump to three D. Um, like they tried with a couple of of iterations. I'm dead. That is really hard to avoid. <laughs> I'm dead. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but you know, you know, um, in like Dark Souls. Oh gosh, come on. I, uh, well, <laughs> sorry, I got somewhere to be. Where's the fire? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's nice. I, I could have thought for one more second before I said, "Where's the fire?" Maybe something better, but whatever. Never took an improv class, so sue me. And I'm I'm dead on the ceiling again. It's the ceiling isn't safe. Established. It's really 
This Can that just be the title of this episode? The ceiling is insane. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Ooh. I'm bad at Gradius. I'm bad at Gradius. I'm bad at Gradius. Don't judge me. I'm bad at Gradius. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bye. <sighs> I was afraid of the bouncer dudes at the bottom, but there's... See, the that's the thing. That's what makes the, the bottom and... completely off limits because those guys are unavoidable so no pressure but this is your only opportunity to do the game <laughs> okay <laughs> look up real quick um gradius cheats in google <laughs> <laughs> it is a you know uh, what? i didn't think about it and we didn't try it but it is a konami so. game i have no idea if the konami code does anything in this well, thank you for joining us as we fail to play Gradius. <laughs> I, I we, we played it. Well, we played it. You know what? We did not. You know what? Beat level one. We so did to not. Speak. We did not. You made it to the boss, and I'm gonna go ahead and call that cool. Look at this guy here. Look at this cheat with all, all right. his bullets. I can't take this anymore. I'm mad. <laughs> You're mad? I'm not, I'm not. But who are you? Oh, uh, well. That, yeah. Oh, that, that's. All right, this has been. <laughs> this has been. This has been uh, let's play with Joe. Um, yeah. Uh, thank You're you for mad. having me. I'm, I'm Joe. Mad. That's Joe over there. Thank you for having me, Joe. I really appreciate it. This is super fun. Definitely. Nice. Definitely. All right. And remember, guys. The ceiling isn't safe. That's <laughs> right. It's not safe. The ceiling isn't safe. What better way to end 20 years of friendship? <laughs> <laughs> the ceiling isn't it's safe. It's just not. It's just not.